Question 10, Jamidi. Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what its most recent estimate is of the PFI service charges payable by the City of Edinburgh Council for school infrastructure projects. Uh, Minister Alistair Allen. The total uh, estimated unitary charge payable by the City of Edinburgh Council for its two PFI contracts is £1.27 billion. Pounds. Jimidi. Is the Minister aware that the amount which the City of Edinburgh Council has to pay in unitary charge payments for schools built using the private finance initiative is now running at an eye-watering £39.6 million for the financial year 2015-16? Does he not agree that PFI is robbing councils of much-needed resources that would improve the learning experience for many of our young people and that the people who are paying the price are the pupils, such as those at Liberton Primary School in my constituency, who are being denied the investment which is needed to fund a new five classroom extension, which according to the Parents Association would ease the pressures at the school. Minister. Well, the, the member is of course right to point to the fact that uh, PP, uh, P and PFI are uh, models of uh, funding which uh, uh, for very good reason uh, have been consigned to history by this government. The, the member refers uh, to the, the two, PPI, uh, two PPP and PFI rather, projects which have been uh, embarked upon uh, in the past by Edinburgh, uh, the first of which had a capital value of £129 million, uh, and unitary payments of £527 million, uh, and the second of which had a capital value of £208 million, uh, and unitary payments uh, totalling £743 million. Now, while I accept and we all must accept that these, these payments will include things like ongoing maintenance and management of buildings, uh, I think the case is uh, very clearly made uh, as to why the government decided that these were policies uh, that were best changed and better uh, ways of funding our school buildings in the future had to be found.